Hello, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, it was just announced that Skybound Oratorial will be added to the War Archives, meaning it will be permanently available so you can farm the maps for the gear that's there and the ship that's available, who is featured on the little banner here I have pulled up, John Arc, right here. Uh, also, the gotcha ships will be added to the permanent pools, so like Richelieu and the peeking over the banner there will be added to Heavy, um, John Arc will be added to Light, or maybe she's just in farmable in the stages. And the other ships in this event will also be added to uh, the respective pools. So like Vaclin will be added to Light. I don't think there's any others to really have notes. Uh, Later will be added to Light. Mal and Breeze will be added to Light. Uh, Algeria will be added to Heavy. And let's see. Oh yeah, so John Ark will be added to Light. And then for farmable ships, you have John Ark and Bjorn. Um, and then Merit Shop, Bjorn, and La Gassonere. I believe Bjorn was also from, you could farm her and get her from the point shop during the actual event when it ran the first time and the second time. But now she's added to the Merit Shop and so is La Gassonere, who was a point accumulation ship. So if you didn't, wasn't able to get her then, now you can kind of just wait and build up your points for it doing PvP get her. As for ships of note, uh, mostly the SSRs are golds here. Pretty good. Backlund's good in her own way. AKA she's funny. But yeah, let's just start with who I have pulled up on my screen here in the background. Uh, the main ship you'll want to pull for in this event. If you're gonna pull, pull for this ship. Because I think at I think we'll have the New Jersey rerun coming soon. It's been a little bit since we just had uh, Yorktown 2 and Implacable. So hopefully we uh, in the middle of the year or middle of the UR runs for the year we'll have a rerun since we haven't had one in a while. So I would be cautious of spending your cubes. Rishlu and the rest will be on rate up. But just be aware that there could be something who's even better coming along soon. That's not saying Richelieu isn't good. She's extremely good, especially for early game. Uh, she wants to have an HE gun. All right, let me actually click on it. For this skill, extra damage. And then if you play on manual and fire her first shot, it will always uh, be a crit. And what's good about the Richelieu class is when you get them to their first limit break, they get a preload, which is very nice. So for like a PvP, you can hit, a, hit them hard really fast. So she's really good for uh, lower tiers of PvP if you don't have anyone else. Uh, she does a lot of damage and she has a burn that is very, very good. Basically, you'll have her firing up shot off and then she more than likely fire barrage that does a lot of damage and decreases their stats so that's pretty good for pvp and that adds up she also is your wannabe your uh, your flagship for french fleets kind of like nagato is in new jersey to a lesser extent she gives them good buffs and then increases damage your Iris Libre ships do, and decreases damage taken by your Versailles Dominion ships. That's really nice. So if you're gonna be building a French fleet, you'll want her. She'll be your centerpiece of your French fleet. She makes the things tick. Uh, I just kind of put in you know, a general purpose build here. Good HE gun from PR2, and then PR1, the uh, Neptune gun. It's the FTG gun. Um, any AA gun's fine. The Bofors Stag is the best, followed by the Haze Mare. And then as for auxiliary gear, if you can uh, buy these shells from the Merit Shop or the Core Data Shop, I believe it is. These are very nice to have on her. You can also put the like fire control radar or this Admiralty fire control table. Just be aware with these, 
you don't get all the effects because since she has a preload, the main gun Wally is already loaded, so this uh, skill is completely useless for on her. But she does get some hit from it, so that's very nice. Also, as a, another option is the Fumo. Also get some hit, but you also get firepower, which is a bit better than the uh, fire control radar. Actually, no, never mind. I thought you got no uh, firepower. So yeah, so those are also options. And then if she's sur struggling to survive, travel gear is always good on her. As is for anyone. One of those, one of these. Yeah, she's definitely the uh, the ship to pull for in this event. As for the other ships, we'll pull them up real quick. Algeria is a pretty good tank. There's a shield that deploys. Um, she has more damage against certain enemies when it's up. If you switch to manual mode off auto, she gets an evasion buff, which I didn't know about until recently, so that's actually pretty cool. And she also has more damage to enemies that are burnt, so I have the uh, burn effect. She can inflict it, her barrage, She has, if you use an HE gun on her, she can inflict it there. If you have Richelieu, who fires her volley out first, and then her barrage that burns, then that's a good combination there. So she's a good tank if you want to build a French fleet. Jonda Arc is kind of a in an interesting place. She has some good, like, team tank abilities. So if you have her in your third vanguard slot and have her uh, be like in your off tank, that's pretty nice. But she also does a special burn on herself that bu buffs her stats, but she is taking damage at the same time while she has these stats. And she only gets the stats while she's being burned by the special burn. Just be aware, there's some drawback to using her. And she does more damage against Royal Navy ships. Lake Terrible is one of the French destroyers. She, her standout thing is her speed and evasion is incredibly high, especially for destroyers. I believe the French destroyers are the fastest ships in the game. Um, so if you're doing an EX stage for some of the other events, not like the Russian event we had recently, that was a mini event. The EX stage is more of just dodging and you want to have low amount of ships in your vanguard, low amount of gear equipped to get the highest score. She's pretty good for that. Uh, I didn't end up getting her when she reran or when she came out with a rerun of this event. Oh, she's nice for that. A special barrage. She... When she lands five consecutive hits, she gets a firepower buff. She's sacked five, uh, four times. And when it reaches four sacks, buffs her torpedo and then fires the barrage again. It's pretty good. Uh, so you want a gun that is going to be consistently hitting enemies in a quick su succession. So something that I can probably shoot five times quickly. Extra speed. And if another DV, extra speed. Extra evasion AA, that's nice. If she's your only destroyer, so probably in the middle slot of your vanguard, then extra reload and less damage taken. Or if you're running her solo, more reload, more survivability. That's pretty nice. Ball and Breeze, I haven't really messed with. She uh, gets more stats if she's in the French fleet. And she can deploy a shield. I didn't really mess with her. Didn't really bother going for her when she came out. But she's decent. The fill the French fleet. She's buffed from Richelieu. And she buffed herself with Richelieu there. She does get a buff to her ASW. Just not terrible. Thank you for... If you get the, to the 200 threshold by level 120, you're pretty, pretty good. Next up is Vaclin. She's an elite destroyer, like Ball and Breeze. Uh, she buffs the other Vaclin class ships, which I believe is just her and Tartu. And Tartu hasn't rerun in a long, long time. I still haven't gotten Tartu. I heard she Tartu ran recently, but I somehow completely missed that, which is silly. But uh, 
She's not nothing too special about her, but she does have a silly voice. She has a silly scream when you uh, go to the details page from another ship. So you slide over. That's pretty fun. Yarn is a light carrier or the aircraft carrier, but she can have uh, dive bombers or CL guns. So and then she has the skill it changes depending on what it is. So a faster first airstrike or barrage, and then I believe it's increased range. So you could have her um, if you want to run triple carriers with a CL gun. That way she can hit any suicide boats or ramming ships and do try and take them out. And she has a special barrage uh, after airstrike is ready to launch. So that's pretty nice. La Gassonere. Let's see. Less damage from light cruiser and DD guns. And if it only has cruisers of any cal of any type except for large cruisers. More speed and evasion, which is nice because you don't have a destroyer and your speed will be a little bit lower. So that's pretty good. More damage. And then after she shoots five times, it's at max level. Plus a barrage. That's pretty good. Two barrages is nice. Just held back by her uh, lower stats due to her rarity. But as for grinding, not too much to say in terms of the normal event. There's some okay gear. Uh, you can get Queen Elizabeth, Renown, Repulse, a lot of uh, British ships here, and John Arc. So, if you're not too far in the game, you want to get John Arc and the weaker version of the Algeria gun, you can do aim for B3, a bit further along, go for D3, same dropships, but you have the better version of the Algeria gun. And then Bjorn drops from the other stages. You can get her there. Well, the other D stages, probably the other B stages as well, as it showed earlier. As for the Algeria gun, it's a nice uh, CA gun, heavy cruiser gun that is HE. I just kind of have it as a, just laying around, I think I only have two. But it's pretty nice, pretty decent if you don't have this guy from PR1 and you can upgrade it from that, from the gear lab. A little bit difference in stats. But yeah, I think that's a, that all I want to cover for this event. Uh, there will be a rate up. Um, so should you pull for Richelieu, I'd say yes, she's definitely worth it, especially if you're newer. Just be cautioned that the New Jersey rerun is going to pop out eventually. I thought it'd be coming out instead of this, but it's more than likely there will be a new event after this and then possibly the New Jersey rerun following that. That's my temporary thought. I'm not going to say it's a prediction. I don't want to say, oh, don't bother pulling. And there's still good ships here. So that's all. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Hope it was useful. And I will see you around.